I've seen the current title of Yamato's cover story translated in several versions as something like Oni Child Yamato and the Holy Inabi Shrine Pilgrimage, but the meaning in Japanese is a little different. The kanji of this title is here. Oni no ko Yamato no Koinari Daisan. Uh, this kanji, Inari, refers to the deity of essential crops like rice and wheat. This deity, Inari, is often depicted as a fox because the rice stalks, uh, when they drop, resemble a fox tail, you know. And the foxes were thought to chase away the mice that eat rice. The kanji before Inari, here, uh, kin means gold. In one arc, it was a fox, I mean, uh, Onimaru, that told Zoro that Wano was once called the land of gold. Yeah, this idea of Wano being called the land of gold probably has ties to real history in Japan. The Italian explorer Marco Polo was the first to introduce Japan to Europe as Jipang yeah, in his book The Travel of Marco Polo, um, which spread the legend of the land of gold. Yeah, the history likely stems from Chusonji Konjikido, a golden hall in Hiraizumi, Japan, you know. There may be a place like this in Wano, and Yamato might see it during the journey. And the other kanji here, Daisan. Do you know what's meaning Daisan? Means to visit a shrine or temple in behalf of someone else. So it seems that Yamato is going on a pilgrimage to Wano's gods and shrines in Oden's place. In the end, Oden sets sail after meeting Whitebeard uh, in the flashback of Oden, and I have a feeling that Yamato will meet a certain pirate crew at the end of his uh, travel as well. I'll cover all of this in this video. By the way, uh, in Yamato's current cover series, a cover story, the members of the nine red scabbards who have appeared the Kinyamon and Nekomamushi, uh, Denjiro and Inarashi. Kinyamon seems to be uh, uh, staying in the flower capital with Momonosuke as a direct retainer to Momonosuke. Nekomamushi is there uh, as well, uh, alongside Hyogoro acting as a Yakuza in the capital. And Denjiro has become a daimyo of Kibi, while Inarashi is the daimyo of Kuri. Yes, Oden's place. This means that the remaining red scabbards must be in charge of Udon Ringo uh, Hakumai uh, as a daimyo. As for the red scabbards who haven't appeared yet, they are Kikunojo, uh, Kawamatsu, and Raizo. Of these, the connection with Udon is the clearest. Oden met Raizo in Udon, do you remember? And Raizo worked hard to rescue Luffy and Kawamatsu from the Udon prisoner mines, making it place with significant ties to him. However, as for the other two, it's harder to say. Kikunojo is from Ringo, and apparently the child of head family in the Hanayanagi style of traditional dance. So it seems likely that Kikunojo uh, could become a daimyo of Ringo. However, there's also a connection to Hakumai, <laughs> because Hakumai is written with kanji uh, that mean to dance. Uh, which makes it fitting for Kikunojo, who comes from dancing family. Anyway, kanji of Hakumai is here. The first kanji is white, and second one is to dance, as I said. <laughs> yes, dance white. Using other kanji here, uh, with the kanji rice, becomes Hakumai. Yeah, we can hear, and Hakumai. Hakumai means white rice. Anyway, uh, this is uh, Zoro's favorite food, it's hakumai, yeah, rice, just rice. And uh, in the other hand, uh, Kawamatsu, yeah, spent a long time in Ringo uh, after being separated from Hiyori in the uh, Oden's flashback. 
gathering souls with Onimaru, making Ringo's meaningful place for him as well. But for Kawamatsu, there's also an interesting possibility regarding Hakumai. Uh, I'll explain later, but I believe Sentoma might end up at the port of Hakumai in Wano and meet Yamato there, in the cover story. If that happens, that intriguing is that Kawamatsu is a small wrestler, you know, and Sentomaru's model is Kintaro. Yeah, is also famous for sumo, yeah, small wrestler. If Kawamatsu becomes the daimyo of Hakumai, uh, there could be a scenario where he meets Sentoma and we might see them have a small match. What do you think? I'd like to hear your opinion about daimyos. Hi everyone, I'm Luna Piena and the owner of the channel Dawn Dusk and I'm a Japanese translator. Uh, this week I wasn't too busy with translation work so I was able to create a second video here. Uh, last time I posted a job listing in the community section of my channel for some simple work using Japanese. Honestly, I was amazed by response with more than twice as many people reaching out as I expected. Uh, moving forward, I'd love to introduce more jobs that involve using Japanese, in addition to the one I posted. Using a language is one of the most effective ways to learn, so I hope this can help you all with your language skills and language studies. Anyway, on this channel, uh, I, as a native Japanese speaker, share my thoughts and theories on One Piece from the perspective of someone reading the original version. While it's still a relatively small channel on YouTube, uh, the videos are steadily gaining recognition, uh, thanks in large part to all of you who watch them all the way through. Yeah, for that reason, this channel doesn't just copy information that's already out there. So I want to create something original together with all of you around the world. That's what Luna Piena Art is all about. The main reason Yamato decided to stay in Wano country was because of the battle between Aramaki and the Red Scabbers. Wano is an important nation that holds information related to the void century like Pluton and the world polyglyph. That's why the world government sent warships to try to take control of Wano. It's likely that the five elders know some critical secret from the void century which is why they are so focused on Wano. Sengoku also seems to have sensed something as he noticed that the powerful pirates who are getting involved with Wano. I think it's because there's something there tied to the One Piece treasure itself, something Big Bam even mentioned. Because of all this, I believe the opening of Wano's border is inevitable. And when that happens, the world government and the pirates will come flooding in. In Japan, Students first learn about Japanese history in middle school. In Japanese, chūgaku, chūgakko. Yeah, middle school. Uh, at the stage, they don't focus much on the world history, but one thing they do study is the age of exploration. Uh, interestingly, Japanese students learn about this period in the second year of the middle school which lines up with when Oda-sensei began working and thinking on One Piece. This suggests that the series was influenced by the knowledge of the age of exploration. After all, One Piece began with the dawn of the Great Pirate Era. So, how did the age of exploration impact Japan? One of the key figures in Japanese history from the time was Francis Xavier, a Portuguese man. Everyone I want you to pay attention to what I'm about to say now. Francis Xavier was sent by the King of Portugal first to Goa in India. After that, he arrived at Tanegashima in Japan's Kyushu region and began spreading Christianity. 
His influence also led to the introduction of firearms to Japan. Now, you probably realize it already. Yeah, this piece of history is practically reflected in the story of the One Piece. Ace's full name is Portugas the Ace. The name Portugas is almost certainly derived from Portugal. It's said that the age of exploration began with the Portugal's conquest of Ceuta. In the One Piece world, the Great Pirate Era began with the Roger's death, yeah, which can also be seen as symbolically tied to Ace's birth. Roger's birthday is December 31st, while Ace is January 1st, making the start of the new era. And let's not forget, Garp took Ace to the Kingdom of Goa, yeah, at the, uh, Roger's request. After a set sail, he ended up in Wano Kuri region, yeah, where he met Otama. Wano's Kuri is modeled after Kyushu in Japan, yes, like Tanegashima. And what are two things that symbolize Ace? Yes, guns and the cross. By the way, it was Oda Nobunaga who incorporated firearms into his strategy to unify Japan. Using Machok guns, a new weapon at that time, he defeated the cavalry of Takeda Shingen, who was uh, considered a most powerful at that time. The ability of Nasujiro, a character from Wano, yeah, old Wano, probably, <laughs> it's also connected to horses, just like Takeda Shingen's cavalry. Now, I'm sure you've noticed another connection. Yeah, Oda Nobunaga uh, and One Piece creator uh, Oda Sensei. Yes, they share the same family name. But be careful. The kanji used for their last name is different. I'll show you. Yeah, Oda Sensei's Oda and Oda Nobunaga's Oda is completely different. First, uh, Oda Nobunaga's Oda is here, uh, more complicated, and Oda Sensei's Oda is here. The second kanji is same, identical, but first one is completely different. Honestly, a lot of people make that mistake, so if you see it, be sure to point it out. Uh, this kanji he, uh, here, the o Oda Nobunaga, used to mean a waving fabric with a loom. On the other hand, uh, the kanji used in Oda Sensei's uh, here, this kanji, means tail. <laughs> yes. By the way, this second kanji in Oda Sensei's name and Oda Nobunaga's name that means rice field. This kanji, uh, this kanji means rice fields. Isn't just read as da, but it can also be read as den. Yeah, do you remember? In other words, his surname could also be read as oden, oden. When you think of that way, it makes sense why the Kozuki family was made such an important clan. <laughs> yes. Kozuki, I'll show you here what kanji used for Kozuki. You can see here Kozuki. Kozuki means shining moon. Additionally, surnames of all lords uh, who served the Kozuki family include kanji that mean moon. Yeah, this kanji. For example, Shimotsuki. Yeah, this tsuki means moon. And Uzuki. Yeah, this uzuki means uh, moon. Also, fu getsu. This getsu yeah, also means moon. And my surname also includes the kanji for moon. Yes, which represented the full moon in uh, medieval Japan here. Mochizuki. This is my surname, which means full moon. That's why this channel is named Luna Piena. Because in Italian, Luna Piena means full moon.
Posso parlare in italiano, ma in questo canale io non uso l'italiano, quindi io evito di usare l'italiano invece di inglese. Anyway, uh, let's focus it the Netherlands. Even during Japan's isolation period, trade with the Netherlands continued. This trade was exclusively carried out at Dejima, located in Kyushu. Now, when we think about the Netherlands in One Piece, what comes to mind? It's probably this the boy from Fusha Village, Monkey D. Luffy. It's well known that the scenery of the village of Fusha uh, resembles that the Dutch town. Furthermore, like Ace, Luffy also made his way to Wano and washed ashore on the beaches of Kuri. And take a look at Luffy in chapter 741. On his military uniform, you'll see the Dutch flag on his arm. Another famous foreigner who visited Japan during its isolation was Laxman from Russia. He stayed in Irkutsk and later traveled to nearby Hokkaido. Do you know what part of Wano represents Hokkaido? That's right, Onigashima. Yes, all the sensei mentioned in SBS. This seems to hint at Kaido, who came to Onigashima during Wano's period of isolation. By the way, Kaido is from the Vodoka Kingdom, yeah, which adds a Russian element in his character. And the name Hokkaido and Kaido are identical, they are similar. Now, this is the most important part. During the Edo period, the shogunate enacted a foreign policy called Sakoku, yeah, which banned Christian nations, except the Netherlands, from entering Japan and prohibit Japanese citizens from traveling to uh, Southwest Asia. They controlled and restricted the trade as well. This term, Sakoku, is also used to describe Wano's policy in One Piece. On the top flip side, when the clause of country start to interact with foreign nations, it's called Kaikoku. Oden left this world with subordinates before he died. Wano kuni wo Kaikoku se yo. Do you know what Japan at Yokohama to force the country to open? This event is called the arrival of the black ships. The ships were called black ships uh, because they were coated with pitch for waterproofing and protection against corrosion on their wooden hulls. At that time, Perry commanded four ships, including two steam ships. I believe that, just like Japan's history, someone will visit Wano when its borders are opened. Someone will likely be the Blackbeard pirate. I think this because they've obtained the information about the ancient weapons from Kaibu, and Blackbeard's crew will probably come to Wano to steal Pluton. Two years ago, Blackbeard became a warlord in the Crocodile's place. Similarly, now that Crocodile has failed to get Pluton, Blackbeard will the one who tries to seize it. If Blackbeard goes ahead with his plan to steal Pluton from Wano, the first person who comes to mind to send on this mission is Shiryu. There's something about him that kind of resembles Commodore Perry. Plus, his favorite food is beef steak, which is interesting because at that time, eating beef steak wasn't a part of Japanese culture. It only became common later due to American influence. Shiryu also has a few hints that ties him to Wano. Yeah, let's start with his name. Shiryu yeah, comes from Japanese, and most characters with Japanese inspired names tend to have a connection to the Wano bloodline. I've mentioned in the previous video on the channel Dawn Dusk, uh, this makes it highly likely that Nasujiro is originally from Wano. Also, the Ryu, Shi, Ryu, yeah, this Ryu uh, in Shiryu's name means dragon. 
just like the samurai Ryuma from 400 years ago. Yeah, because he cut out dragon. Yeah, Ryu in Japanese. On top of that, Shiryu carry, carries katana. Yes, it's well known that those who wield katanas often have ties to Wano. Then, there's what Shiryu said when he slashed a guard. Kiriste gomen. Yeah, this was privilege given to samurai、uh, during the Edo period, allowing them to kill commoners or、uh, presents without punishment if they were insulted or treated rudely. Shiryu、uh, seems like a character heavily inspired by Wano.、Uh, the way he carefully maintains his sword、um, remains as of samurai. Yeah, in the ship. And his soul's name is Ryu, which means thunderstorm in Japanese. And to top it off, his alias is Shiryu of the Rain. Ame no Shiryu. Let me introduce a hypothesis here. I believe that Shiryu might be a descendant of the Uzuki family. The Uzuki family was one of the daimyo families that serves the Kozuki clan. If you look at their silhouette, they are characterized by their long chin. Yeah, in fact,、uh, Uzuki tempura also has a long chin, like Shiryu. Yeah, Shiryu shares this same feature. And Shiryu's name, as I said, Shiryu the Rain.、Uh, Ame no Shiryu. Yeah, written here. Ame no Shiryu. And Shiryu's sword name, Ryu.、Uh, Ryu. Written here. Yeah, same kanji means rain. This kanji、uh, represents rain. And Uzuki family, the name is rain and moon. Here. Rain moon family. Uzuki family. That's why I think he is a part of the Uzuki family. The Uzuki family governs the region called Udon. Yeah, in Wano, Udon refers to the area that represents Japan's Shikoku region,、uh, which is famous for its udon noodles. <laughs> That's how the name comes about.、Uh, when Aramaki、uh, invaded Wano, the first place he arrived at was Udon. Yeah, so, I believe that when Shiryu makes his move,、uh, Udon will be the, his first step as well.、Uh, what's even more interesting is that Udon has a prisoner mine. Yeah, Shujin Sai Kutsujo in Japanese, prisoner mine. Shiryu, of course, used to work at Impel Town, yeah, a prison where criminals were held. Impel Down might have some connection to the ancient kingdom or Wano. This is suggested by the ancient looking symbols on its walls and the fact that the Impel Down logo resembles the Kozuki family crest. Yes, it's possible that Uzuki family, who once managed to the prisoner mine in Wano, later took on the responsibility of like, overseeing Impel Down. After the ancient kingdom fell to the current world government, the Wuzuki clan might have continued working as their prison guards, and Shiryu, as their descendant, ended up working as a guard at Impel Down too. The channel owner forgot to mention something, so I'll add a bit of context. Shiryu's sword is called Ryu, and it uses the kanji for rain. This same kanji is used in the Uzuki family, who once ruled over Udon. The other kanji in the name, Rai, means thunder, and it's found in the name of Raizo, who also hails from Udon. I don't think Shiryu will be the only member of the Blackbeard Pirate to come after Pluto in Wano. I think San Fan Wolf.、Uh, in English, San Juan Wolf. <laughs> Might be correct. The coastal battleship will be part of the crew as well. It would make sense for a giant battleship like him to go after the battleship Pluton. 
uh, that when they come to stage Pluton, I think they'll encounter Yamato. By the way, Yamato is 263 centimeter tall, and the most famous Japanese battleship, the Yamato, was 263 meters long. It's possible that Pluton might be modeled after the battleship Yamato. Additionally, Avalo Pizarro's ability seems like they could be useful in breaking down the walls of Wano, so he might be brought along too. If this scenario unfolds, it will be Yamato who steps up to face them. But I also believe another unexpected ally will show up to help. That person is Sentomal. Yeah, we saw Sentomal escaping from Eget Island, heading in different direction from Elbaf. Uh, based on this, I think Sentomal will end up in Wano and possibly appear in Yamato's cover story. Right now, Yamato is in Kui, but soon they'll likely head to Udon and Hakumai. Yeah, there's a good chance that Sentomal might arrive in Wano through Udon or Hakumai and happen to meet Yamato there. Sentomal's appearance strongly resembles Kintaro, yeah, a famous character from Japan's folklore. While Kintaro is now often seen in children's picture books, he originally appeared in Ukiyo-e prints from the Edo period. Let's take a look at some. Yeah, you'll notice that Kintaro is often depicted with koi fish. Yes, remember all the koi fish at the entrance of Wano? It's possible that, just like Kintaro, Sentomal might catch a koi fish and use it to enter Wano. Also, like Kintaro and Sentomal, Yamato carries a robe across their back. Yeah, this is a reference to Nyodaski. Yeah, an element from Kabuki theater in Japan. Furthermore, Sentomal's outfit bears a specific symbol. Yeah, that's right. It's the Tomoe crest. The symbol that appeared in several places in One Piece. Yeah, on Enel's drum, in Mulas of Alabasta, and during one of festivals. Can anyone spot the common thread here? Yeah, that's right. It's likely Pluto. As mentioned earlier, the Blackbeard pirates having received information from Kaibu might come to seize this weapon, and when that happens, I think Sentomaru and Yamato will be the ones to face them. By the way, this week, the One Piece anime should be covering the content from the chapter 1088 of the manga. I've translated that chapter and provided a detailed explanation, which I've made available on my Patreon page for a limited time. So if you are interested, feel free to check it out, you might discover something interesting. I also occasionally post other articles for free, so if you have a time, come visit my pages as well. Okay, I'll see you again in the next chapter analysis video. See you next time.